Have you ever played hide and seek? Man, I remember playing that so often when I was a kid. And even now I have kids of my own and they want to play hide and seek. But I wasn't good at it then and I'm not very good at it now. But remember the object of the game is that one person would go count while the other people would go hide. And uh, the object was to be the last person found or to be the first to sneak out and run to home base. Because the truth is, I wasn't great at finding those really good compact places where you can fit and hide out. But can I tell you a secret? It still happens to me today as it did when I was a kid. Every time I go hide, I need to go pee. Well, I got thinking about a hiding place. We've been talking about, um, are, you be, are you happy in Jesus? For the past five uh, Wednesdays, we've been talking about things like the sovereignty of God, the goodness of God. We've been talking about the will of God. We talked about His love for us. And today, I want to talk about our hiding place. Now, one thing is for sure. There's a lot of opportunity for us to get discouraged. There's a lot of opportunity for us in this life to get knocked off our feet. There's a lot of opportunity for us to ask questions, serious questions. But I want to draw today from uh, Colossians chapter 3, verse 1 to 4, and I hope that this is an encouragement to you. So when I ask you the question, are you happy in Jesus? This obviously is a question to those who have given your lives to the Lord. So today, I want not talk about whose we are. But I want to talk about where you are. Where you are is very important. It's as though uh, we're in the game of hide and, hide and go seek but we are hidden in a secret place. So let's read it together. Colossians chapter 3, verse 1 to 4. It says, Since then you have been raised with Christ. Set your hearts on things above where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. Set your minds on things above, not on earthly things. There's probably a good place to just pause. You see, the enemy will always attack us in our mind. That is where the battlefield is, and that is where uh, battles are won or fought, is between your ears and your mind. The things that we watch, the things that we listen to, social media posts, friends, family, <clears throat> things that we uh, choose to entertain ourselves with, we have to be very mindful of setting guards up <clears throat> at the gate of our mind to protect what goes into our thoughts because our thoughts will govern our actions, our attitudes, and our emotions. And you will be either encouraged or discouraged. And you know, there's a lot of um, opportunity, as I already said, for discouragement today. And there's always opportunity for us to get sidetracked. So protect where your mind goes today is a good lesson. But let's read further. It says, for you died. And I know that's a morbid thought. But for those who are in Christ, those have, who have given their lives to Jesus, uh, we have died to our own uh, will, our own desires. And we want to follow Jesus because we know that's the best life. You know, it's not a, a second class or a B option. No, it's it's option A. This is optimal living. We have died in Christ and your life is now hidden with Christ in God. There is a hiding place. 
protecting place, a place of uh, complete peace. We are hidden with Christ in God. For those of us who are who are uh, believers in the Lord Jesus and you're following Him, Christ is in you. <clears throat> Colossians also says that, right? Paul says, Christ in you, the hope of glory. And then we are in Christ. But on top of that, we are hidden with Christ in God. That's how sheltered we are. Now, we're not exempt, but we sure have heaven's best in Christ. Everything that happens in our life happens through the permission of God the Father, and it got to go through Christ the Son, and we are hidden with Christ in God. That's a beautiful thought today. That is life-giving. To know that we are in Him. We are hidden in Him. <clears throat> we are safe in Him. If you want to be happy in Jesus, know where you are. Know that the trial you're going through right now, you are in Him. You are hidden with Christ in God. That diagnosis... You're hidden with Him. See, what may be completely uh, out of sight to the rest of the world is where you are. We may be walking around, everything looks uh, you know, natural to everyone's eye, but if we could see from God's perspective, we're sheltered in His care. If you want to be happy in Jesus, know where you are today. Yes, we are loved by Him, but we're also hidden with Christ in God. Now, I know a lot of people um, often scoff at the idea of living a life of surrender to the Lord Jesus. Don't make a whole lot of sense to uh, <clears throat> our thoughts for those who are outside of uh, Christ to say why would you want to why would you want to live this way why would you want religion but the truth is we're hidden with Christ in God and in verse 5 it says when Christ appears he's going to reveal his glory actually in verse 4 it says when Christ who is your life appears then you also will appear with him in glory. What is now hidden will be exposed. I want to be hidden with Christ in God in this life so that when he appears, I will be put on display. You will be put on display and share in that magnificent glory. Because the truth of the matter is there will come a day when what the world thought was foolish, when what the world thought, why would you want to live for Jesus, they will realize that we were the wisest. It was true wisdom to live for the Lord. We are hidden with Christ in God and nothing that will ever happen in this life will shake that or remove that when we're in Christ. That is a good place to be today. And no one's going to find us. No one's going to... Uh, we don't have to leave that place. And I'm so thankful that I'm there. Right where I need to be and right where I want to be is hidden with Christ in God. I trust you have a blessed Wednesday.